About six and a half million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. It's the leading cause of dementia and the search for treatments has been frustratingly slow. But researchers have identified dozens of new genes that may raise a person's risk of developing Alzheimer's. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has more. If vascular neurologist Dr. Rishi Gupta had to pick one word to describe Alzheimer's disease, a progressive brain disorder that gradually robs sufferers of their memory and their ability to interact with the world around them, he would say frustrating. And I think it's incredibly frustrating. It's very difficult on caregivers and it's very difficult to, for the patient. And so I think as of today, I would say we're very uh, challenged in treating patients with dementia or Alzheimer's disease. And there is no proven effective therapy to date for individuals with Alzheimer's disease. So the co-director of the Neuroscience Service Line at Wellstar Health System says he's excited to hear British researchers in the largest study of its kind so far have identified 75 genes that may raise a person's risk of developing Alzheimer's, including 42 that have not been previously linked to the disease. The hope, Dr. Gupta says, is these findings will give researchers more clues about what's going wrong in the brain and help them develop new treatments that could target specific genes implicated in Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. The goal is if I know patient A has genes A, B, and C, you could deliver a treatment just for those three genes. And I think that's what's exciting. But Dr. Gupta cautions turning discoveries like this into treatments will take time. I think I would say we should be cautiously optimistic. And I think that's a we should be cautious because once you identify a gene, therapeutics still may be five to ten years away from that gene. So this is not tomorrow we're going to have a treatment. And I, I want to be very clear about that. Still, he says this gives us more insight into the disease and could help researchers identify patients with mild cognitive impairment who might benefit from clinical trials into new therapies. It's offering us ways to identify patients in a more structured manner and be more specific to the individual's type of Alzheimer's disease. What it's not is it's not a treatment today. So we're excited anytime such studies come out which offer targets. It's unfortunately it's, it's a step. It's not it's not the you know the end all be all but it's a step in the right direction. For Good Day Atlanta, Beth Galvin, Fox 5 News.